Hey guys, it's Anne Marie. So I just recorded a whole 10 minute video and it wouldn't upload. I think that's when your phone is full of storage. So I deleted a bunch of videos, cleared my cache out, but I need to change the energy because it was a very heavy um, continued message. And I kind of wanted to get out of that. Not everything that we get prevented from doing um, is someone doing something against us. Sometimes it's spirit saying um, some people aren't ready for that message yet. So I'm taking it as the latter. And so I've changed the energy and Let's do it together again. One, two, three. One, two, three. three, three. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. I want to know the witching hour. Let me make sure I got my cards right. Okay. The witching hour. What do we need to know, Spirit? Jesus, Mother Mary, and Joseph. There was three of them. Ah, the wolf moon number one. Beginning. Number two, the crow moon. Number eight, prosperity. That's what I'm talking about. Look at her. She's birthing something new with the crow on her arm. Like, you got this. Look at him. Look at him looking up at her. Look at him. He's like, oh, you got this. Girl, boy, whatever, however you identify. She has a tattoo. Oh, where are my glasses? She has a really cool tattoo on her arm that I'm trying to... Um, the Blue Moon 31, Honoring the Past. Number one, Beginning. Number eight, Prosperity. And 31, Honoring the Past. 12, 13, that'd be 13, that'd be four. And this one has a crow in it too. <laughs> this one has... Do all these cards have a... Oh, okay. I want to look. Do all of them have... They all have some type of animal in them. They're not all birds. There's a lot... There are a lot of crows and owls. This one doesn't have a bird in it. This one doesn't have... Yes, it does. This one has a bunny in it. I'm just looking just to see. Because if I see similarities in something, I'll pick it up. But if every card's like that, then, you know. But it's not. There's different animals in each one. But there are... This is a different type of crow, though. This isn't like a crow crow. I don't know. In order for there to be prosperity in this situation, in order for this new beginning, it's also a time to honor the past. Honor the path you've taken. This is kind of like a piece of the other message, but honoring the path, honoring where you've come from, but not staying stuck there. Not trauma bonding over it. Not using all of your energy, focusing so much on the past and what hasn't happened and what hasn't worked and things like that. It's hard to have a new beginning and birth things new. It's hard to have this prosperity when you're so focused on the past without honoring it in the right way, healing it, and moving on. What's the shadow and light of this spirit? Marie. Good one out of two ain't bad. <gasps> Eight. Little blonde hairs on my arm are sticking up. Keithium. Relationship solitude number eight. Twenty-seven, which would be nine, offended, enlightened. <laughs> You're gonna offend people with your growth. Someone's past has really taken the life out of them, has drained them. Spirit is wanting you to find solitude in any possible way that you can to move through some energy that you're currently in or that is upcoming. The 12 12 portals, I said, is a great time to do this, which is coming up. Spirit is saying that someone is taking their time in solitude, not honoring the past, but reliving the past over and over and over again. Like you're overthinking the past. Like could have, should have, would have, should have done this. I could have done this. I wish I would have done this differently. And those things are all good, but someone is staying stuck in that. They're not honoring the lesson in it. They're not honoring that the past is what made you who you are today. 
And if you don't like who you are today and you want a new beginning, it's time to take more solitude and to remove this grit, these relationships that are continuing to recreate these past situations and scenarios that are keeping you stuck. And even the offended and enlightened card, she's looking stuck. Look at her. Her hands are tied like, I don't want to be in this anymore. Or somebody's offended. Oh, I don't want to offend anybody with my healing. I don't want to offend anybody. If somebody gets offended, that's their choice. That has nothing to do with you. I always talk about us being important. Just focus on us. Focus on us. You living your life is going to offend people, and that's okay. It's not, it's not, it's not your business <laughs> if other people get offended. If other people are hurt or if other people, I mean, we don't intentionally go and hurt people. We don't with intention do things with malicious intent. If your intentions are pure and you lead with love and you come from an honest, caring place, people are going to get offended. What's that have to do with you? That's their choice. They're choosing to be offended. They're choosing to be hurt. They're choosing that. We all have choices. Let's be honest here. It's like I had the choice to feel sick today. I mean, I was feeling sick, so I'm like, okay, how can I move through this? I'm going to do... Fuckers. Always trying to do messages. I'm going to give me some 7-Up, and as soon as I started channeling messages, I started to feel better. So maybe that's a sign for me. So I need to know what the animal spirits have to say. Don't you? No. Oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, here they are. My glasses. I'm going to make sure I have my glasses. Okay. Let's <laughs> get some of <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what? I love when that happens. Of course we have the wolf. Wolf. Pathfinder. Release your path. Shut. I want to hunt the whore better for the work out of way. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is so strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Obviously you do because you're still here. You must love yourself enough to at least still wake up every day and not. Swan, Grace. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. <clears throat> I'll be damned. I keep just seeing that 1212 portal for somebody. You making the choice every day to heal and grow and not stay stuck in the past and worry about offended, you know, offending people. It takes a certain type of tenacity and grace and you're doing it well, gracefully. And even when you don't do it gracefully, it's okay too. Have you seen any of my videos? <laughs> uh, grace, even though part of my name, which is interesting now that I think about it, <laughs> part of my name means grace. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay not to have it right. It's okay not to be perfect. No matter what you're doing. The whole thing Spirit wants you to know is that you're doing something though. Who and anybody in their right mind and anything in life have they tried something and tried to do something. Especially when they've had no guidance really, you know, in the physical form to really show them that they got it right on the first try. That it was perfect the first time. Do you really want to give the energy of perfection out to everybody? Or that you have grace and tenacity, that you're the pathfinder, that you are navigating your life the best way you can and, and navigating your healing journey the best way you can. I know it's kind of like over the place, but that's what it is. <laughs> I don't do things with grace either. It's okay. You just by doing something is graceful. You stepping into your power, you being honest, you leading from a loving place. You honoring your past by not staying stuck in there. Going in your solitude to find peace within you and not focusing on how anybody's going to react or respond. I hope you're healthy and happy for